What is your father on? He owns several different several different businesses from gentlemen's clubs to car lot. Okay, can you do all the maintenance of those too? Yes. Now what uh Tanya is a friend of Jennifer's. Correct. Okay, and you heard him on the phone. Correct. And you heard him yelling on the phone. No, I've heard him over the phone, but it was never a yelling situation. Okay, but it may have been an aggravated situation, but it was never a violent yell. There's a difference between somebody, in my opinion, there's a difference. Okay. Um, was she on speakerphone? Your girlfriend talking? Yes. Okay, so what would you hear in the background? I would just hear Jen ask Daryl to do something, and he would snap and say, hold on a minute. But it was never what else? no vulgar do it yourself. Do it your blank self. Okay, but now the next day you don't go to work. I mean, she doesn't show up at twelve. You can get on the phone, you go over there twice. Correct. What was what was the worry? I went to work that morning. What was the worry? Because nobody had heard from her. Mm -hmm. And she was supposed to call Tanya when she got up to let her know, hey, I'm getting ready for work. She, Tanya never heard from her. Tanya called me, asked me where I was at, if I was anywhere near there, and I said, yeah. She goes, will you please go and stop by there? I said, I don't have time. She said, please, just stop by there. It'll only take a minute. I said, well, fine. Would, uh, would, did you know anyone else that would have been a worry for her? All of her friends. Girlfriends are tight. Me, I might not talk to you for six months. But then we talk, we're buddies again. Okay, explain that. They were best friends. They spoke almost every day. You and I could be an acquaintance. I could speak to you now and be just fine. Hey, we're friends, whatever. Not speak to you for another three to six months. See you again somewhere. Everything falls back into place. Hey, you're a friend of mine. Just haven't seen you for a while. But they were close friends. They spoke almost every day. Okay, but why the worry? Why, why now? Why is everyone so worried? Because she was supposed to be at work for her first day, and Jen said, call me, make sure, and Tanya said, I will, I'll make sure you're up. No response. Called her back to back, back to back, and I guess that was not like Jen. Jen would answer her phone or reply to a text message, and she wasn't doing that, and that's what... I guess that's what concerned Tanya. Okay, but was there any articulation from Tanya to you about why she was so worried that you were going to have to go by there and go by there a second time? Nope. Okay. Um, I more or less went by there to get Tanya off my butt. Okay. So I didn't have my phone blowing up with her so I could take care of business. Okay. Now, how many times have you met Daryl Wilson? A handful of times. No more than ten times. In what settings? He's come over to my house. I went down to their place. Just. Did you know him before he got out of prison? I did not. So you don't know how many times, how long he'd been out, but he had been over, you say a handful of times, but 10 times at least? Like you'd see him somewhere, times? somewhere. I, I've seen him face to face no more than 10 times. Okay, now, but she was having him move out. And? Yes or no? I didn't know. If I moved out every time I was told to, I might as well not even unpack my suitcase. Okay, but you heard the arguing you say, and you, you say that's not, that wasn't really like fighting arguing. In my opinion, no. It was not. Okay, now, how would they act together? Like any other couple, in my opinion. What would you and Gerald talk about? Just me working and him trying to find something. He wasn't working? To my knowledge, no. He was looking for a job. He was supposed to go for an interview. I never heard anything else after that. What do you openly say? I mean, you all own some businesses, right? Yes. Would he want to work up there? Or? He couldn't because of his convictions. And so he wasn't, you all weren't able to hire him? He did. He asked one time, and I knew that he would not qualify with his probation or his parole or whatever, so I didn't even pursue it.
Yeah, so y'all don't hire people with a criminal record. Depends on the regulations <coughs> of their probation or parole. 